Welcome back to the channel. I go by the name of King Anand. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've seen my videos before, welcome back. I want to make this video for my people who are going to be traveling from the United States, Canada, Europe. Uh, you might be traveling to Ghana for the festivities over the holidays because there's going to be a lot of people traveling to Ghana from the beginning of December all the way through the end of the new year. And Ghana has been reported that there's going to be 150,000 travelers. A lot of them are going to be new, people who might not have traveled before. So I just wanted to make this video specifically for folks who are going to Ghana. But of course, this can be applied to pretty much uh, any traveler. So I'm going to give you some very important tips that are going to help you out in purchasing your ticket to Ghana. So please stay tuned. Uh, these tips are actually from my father, who is a travel insider, has been selling tickets at a travel agency for the last 10 years. So. These tips are definitely gonna help you out and stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna give you one tip that is gonna help you save some money. And I know we all wanna save money when purchasing an airline ticket, so stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get started. Tip number one. There's something in the travel industry known as the shoulder season. Okay, shoulder season is the time between high and low travel seasons to a specific destination. Okay, so the low season is anywhere between November and March. November and March. Obviously, because during those times, there are not going to be a lot of people traveling. Okay. And the reason why is that uh, in the travel industry, most people don't travel between November and March. And the reason why is because the ticket prices are higher. Now, obviously, with all the different festivities with the Beyond the Return initiative, so obviously, folks want to travel. Now, the high season is between June and August in the Northern Hemisphere, and in Africa, it is November and February. Ghana is becoming a really popular tourist destination because of the Year of the Return initiative popularized by Ghana's president, Akufuado. Recently, there have been celebrities like Steve Harvey, the rapper T.I. and his wife, Tiny, and the actor Boris Kojo, whose father happens to be Ghanaian, along with his wife, Nicole Ari Park. The Christmas and New Year's holidays are also peak seasons for travel to Ghana because a lot of Africans who live here in the United States, Canada, and different parts of Europe travel to Ghana because there's a lot of festivities going on in Ghana. And, you know, folks travel because they want to see their families during the holidays. Christmas is the best time to be in Ghana. Tip number two. So if you bought your ticket in low season and you decide to travel in high season, your ticket price will go up. Nothing you can do about that because these airlines are in business to make money. Okay. On the other hand, it does not work the other way. If you bought your ticket during the high season and travel during the low period, the fare will now go down. Uh -uh. It doesn't work that way. Tip number three, don't try to travel too close to Christmas or around the New Year's. I know that's when folks want to travel because that's when folks want to go to Ghana and enjoy all the different festivities going on. If you can avoid it and if you're not really interested in that, I would highly advise you to travel some other time of the year because that's going to save you a couple of hundred dollars on your ticket prices. Because buying a ticket for travel in any time in December and sometime in January, February, or March, that could potentially save you about $300. And this is when airline travel price gouging begins. So if you buy your ticket two to three months in advance, you'd be lucky to get a decent ticket price. And most importantly, when you're traveling, make sure you get to the airport at least three hours before departure time. Make sure that you go to the airport at least three hours before your departure time. Tip number four, purchase your ticket from a travel agency if you can, especially if you're traveling for the first time, okay? Good thing about a travel agency is they can assist you if you have any issues with refunds, cancellations, your visa, and any other issues that may arise before your trip. The disadvantages with booking on a website like Delta or United or any other major airline is that you may not get a good deal, okay? If you need any customer assistance, the customer support for most airlines pretty much suck. Okay, they're dealing with many calls a day. If you work at a contact center or customer service center, you know what I'm talking about. They're dealing with multiple calls, multiple people, multiple personalities, and you won't get that type of assistance that you expect from somebody that's dealing with multiple people that with multiple calls per day. Travel agent works by commission. Most likely, they're going to get a cut of the deal, a cut of the ticket price. So it's in their best interest to make sure that you're completely satisfied and you get the best deal. Okay. 
A rep at an airline does not really care. They're just a worker bee. Tip number five, you're entitled to two pieces of luggage, 50 pounds or less. Carry-on luggage is limited to a certain size and the extra luggage is going to attract a fee depending on the airline. I know with Delta, they charge, I believe it's $200. Last time I checked, that could potentially be a lot of money. Okay. You want to budget as much as possible. Again, especially if you're traveling first time, you don't know which incidental costs are going to come up. So make sure you're saving as much money as possible. Tip number six, if you decide to cancel your trip or change dates, this is important. So pay attention. There's going to be a cancellation fee. All right. There is no refund, but depending on the airline, they might give you a credit for up to a year of travel. Okay. So that's a really important tip. Um, now we all know things happen. You know, your, your child might get sick, a family member might get sick or anything could happen. So make sure that you have to cancel, make sure that you cancel at least 24 hours before the date of travel. Okay. And that segues into tip number seven. Okay. If you decide to cancel, inform the airline at least 24 hours before your date of travel. If you decide you're not traveling on that date of departure, it's going to be considered a no-show and, and therefore your ticket is going to be voided and there is no refund. Okay. You can complain until the cows come home. The airline will not give you your money back. No, no. So then is most of us don't read the rules. You know, there's a saying, read the fine print. Yeah. Most of us don't read the rules whenever we buy an expensive item and Buying an airline ticket is really expensive. That's like the price of a mortgage or more, depending on where you live, of course. So it's the same way when you purchase an airline ticket, okay? So that was it. That was the seven tips. Now, this is the most important tip. When you're purchasing your airline ticket, especially if you're buying it on a computer, all right? Buy your tickets at midnight or early in the morning, around 2 to 3 a.m. And the reason why is at that time, most people are asleep. Most folks are asleep. They're not cruising at internet trying to buy airline tickets. Most people buy airline tickets during the daytime, right? So the reason why it's all economics, supply and demand. If the supply is low, the prices go down. When demand is high, prices go up, right? So it's the same. So purchase your ticket. If you're on a computer, purchase your ticket anywhere at midnight, around midnight, or very, very early in the morning, okay? And also, this is an extra tip. If you visited the website or if you've logged onto the website, whether it's Delta, United, or wherever, and you log on again and decide to purchase your ticket, make sure you clean your cookies, your cache on your website. If you're using Google Chrome or any other browser, I'm sure you can Google how to do that. Make sure you clean your cookies because if the website recognizes that you've been on that site again, whatever ticket price, that was quoted to you the first time is going to be the same. But if you clean your cookies, you might get a cheaper price the second time that you log onto that website because the web browser is going to recognize that, oh, this is a new person. So let's quote them a cheaper price. All right. So I hope that helped. I hope gave you, a, you guys a lot of value. Please like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you found value in this video. Um, this is your man, Anand. I make videos to plug the african-american community into ghana so i hope you enjoyed this value share it with somebody and um like this video okay so thank you guys for checking it out and i'll catch you in the next video